Hey, John, Malcolm here. Great talking to you earlier. Now, I'm going to make this quick because I know you're a busy man, and there's going to be a lot of information in here, and all of it will help Google put you in front of more customers, okay? So feel free to take notes, and after this video, you can reach out to me, and we can see what's the best course of action to get more business through your door, okay? So without further ado, um, now, when it comes to Google, Google likes to see three things. They like to see content and keywords. Those go hand in hand. Backlinks and citations. All three of those combined will put you ahead of your competition on Google and get more customers through your door, okay? So content. Google likes to see about 1,500 words on your home page. Now, throughout, the, throughout that content, that's where you would put your, uh, your keywords. So I see here you have about, seems like you have about 250, okay? So, so the best course of action first would be to get content, content, content on that homepage. Content mixed with a lot of keywords. And um, also what I like to do is, is put some, some keywords within the pictures because Google's robots still search through the page for the content. They also search through the, uh, the pictures. They don't search through the videos, but pictures most definitely, okay? So let's go over to Google. Now this is the most searched term for your industry in that area, okay? You get about 400 people per month to um, to search that, okay? Now this little section here that's called the Google Map Pack, and I'll uh, I'll explain that earlier. I mean, I'll explain that later when we get to citations. And this is your top competitor. So I also brought over their site. So right here is their site. Uh, they have a good amount of content. They have Maybe about 1,200 words, 1,200, maybe 1,500 between all of this, everything right here, but definitely beatable, okay? Definitely. Stop this. All right, so next I have a tool over here. It's called IREFs, and this lets me know the different type of keywords that, that, that people have used. It shows me um, the backlinks. That uh that everyone uses as as well as how long their their website has been active. So here's your competition. Now they have well over 400, close to 500 keywords on their page throughout their website, and that's what's bringing them this amount of traffic. And this is without Google Ads, no ads. It's just you build up your website, and then people continuously come to your uh, to your website. So. And these are the search terms that they have. These are very good search terms, and they're very easy to obtain and and use to get uh, and used to allow Google to to get people to your page. This is the keyword difficulty, and these are are not difficult at all. And I'm pretty sure, you know, these are the same ones that you can use. You can also use some of your own that are that are grabbing a lot of volume per month. Now to definitely get a lot of traffic to your page. Okay, so. We have that and here is your website so there's one keyword and it's bringing zero traffic so so what this means is that once you start getting those keywords in you start getting that traffic the traffic goes up you know you could probably use less ads you know you'll still have the other word of mouth but but the word of mouth mixed with the um, the traffic that you get from your web page Will definitely grow the business, all right. And um, let's take a look at the uh, at the backlinks now. Basically, what a backlink is is a link on a different page that points to your page, kind of like a popularity contest. Just it's basically just a page is pointing at you, saying, "Hey, you know, this is if if this is something that you need, this is the guy to go to." So that's all it is. And not all backlinks are created equal. Are, they're not created equal. You want the type of backlinks that are relative to your industry, so it's good to have different backlinks like, you know, pest control, pest control, exterminating, pest control, and different things like that. There, are, there are some services out there that they're kind of spammy, and they'll just use they'll, they'll just use any site to put a backlink for your page on. And next thing you know, you'll have like a pizza hut pointing to your page, and Google doesn't like that. That that may hurt you. So it's good to have backlinks that are relative to your position and I see you have you have 144 so that is that's very very good so exterminators that's good it's good to have fee control perfect 
So you so you have you have a good amount of backlink set up. You have the correct backlink set up. That's very very good. But the backlinks the in order to get those backlinks to work, those keywords also have to be working. So next is the uh, is the citations. Now, a citation is your your name, address and phone number on a directory on the internet, and that's what gets you to this map pack. See the the map pack will be the very first thing that that the people see, but those organic listings that'll also get you a lot of traffic. So I have a tool over here that shows the citations. It's called White Spark. So your competitors they have nine citations just scattered throughout the internet, and I see you you have thirty six. So there is no reason that you cannot beat this company. You know with a uh, with my help, let's see what we can do. And we could definitely get those keywords in order, get you that traffic, and definitely get a lot more business through that door, okay? So this is uh this is my website. This is how you contact me. Malcolm at Brooklyn SEO expert. This is the website. I am local. So if you like what you see, feel free to give me a call, shoot me an email. Doesn't matter. I look forward to hearing from you soon, all right? Thanks a lot, John.